Hey, good morning. Welcome back. Going from verses 5 through 12 today, a big long stretch. Let's read it. We're at 1 Samuel 7, verses 5 to 12. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to Mizpah, and I will pray to the Lord for you. So they gathered together at Mizpah, drew water, and poured it out before the Lord. And they fasted that day and said there, We have sinned against the Lord, and Samuel judged the children of Israel at Mizpah. Now when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel had gathered together at Mizpah, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard of it, they were afraid of the Philistines. So the children of Israel said to Samuel, Do not cease to cry out to the Lord our God for us, that he may save us from the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel, and the Lord answered him. Now as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a loud thunder upon the Philistines that day, and so confused them that they were overcome before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah and pursued the Philistines and drove them back as far as below beth Car. Then Samuel took a stone and set it up between Mizpah and Shen and called its name Ebenezer, saying, Thus far the Lord has helped us. So we're continuing this. There was a revival in Israel after a period of about 20 years. The people have discarded their Baals and Ashtoreths. They gather together. They have Samuel pray for them. The lords of the Philistines hear about it. They're not as afraid of the Israelites as they were before. They are afraid of the Hebrews' God, but they're not afraid of the Israelites. So there's this big business that comes up, but the Lord prays. But Samuel prays to the Lord, and God delivers his people. And we work our way all the way down the text, the way God defeats them, this big confusion he puts upon them. And then it's interesting at the end, you probably have heard this phrase, Ebenezer. Now I, one of the, one of the long-standing hymns says, now I lift my Ebenezer. What in the world is Ebenezer? Eben is the Hebrew word for stone. Ezer is the word for helper. And so this is the stone of help. And it is a memorial or a reminder that was set up there to help the people remember that God had delivered them. And, you know, in your life and mine, we might have some cases, some situations where God has delivered us and helped us. Not that we might. We, we certainly do have those kinds of cases. What are your places? Where is your Ebenezer stone or your Ebenezer place? You might have some, some uh, a Bible that you had when God answered a, a, a key prayer. You might have a, a place where you went. Anyway, we can have our Ebenezers today. It doesn't have to be just something we read about from 2,000, 3,000 years ago. God is our helper. He wants to help us. He's, he's calling us to, to just call on him and trust all to him, and he will deliver. Here he delivers his people. Praise the Lord for that. And so we want God to be our helper. He is ready to do it. Many times we sort of spurn his help. Don't worry about it, Lord. I'll solve it myself. I'll come to you if things get really sweaty and intense. No, let's go to God instead of the last thing. Let's go to the Lord Jesus, the first thing, and see what he does. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for helping your people. Uh, many times the conditions are poor. Spiritually, the people are not ready to be helped. And Lord, many times perhaps uh, my listeners and myself, perhaps we have contributed to making it hard for you to deliver and help your people. Help us to be, our hearts to be right with you. Help us to be on your side and Lord, be please our helper. Thank you, Lord, for delivering your people. Thank you for giving us opportunity in these last days to be our helper and our deliverer. May we uh, allow you and urge you to do so. Thank you for hearing our prayers, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So God does deliver, and good to have some markers or some way of helping us remember what the Lord God has done for us. God be with you today as you serve him.